Apollo 14, Wikipedia article audio. Apollo 14 was the eighth manned mission in the United States Apollo program, and the third to land on the moon. It was the last of the H missions, targeted landings with two-day stays on the moon with two lunar EVAs, or moonwalks. Commander Alan Shepard, Command Module Pilot Stuart Rusa, and Lunar Module Pilot Edgar Mitchell launched on their nine-day mission on Sunday, January 31, 1971, at 4.03 and 2 seconds p.m. EST Liftoff was delayed 40 minutes and 2 seconds, due to launch site weather restrictions, the first such delay in the Apollo program. Crew Backup Crew Shepard and Mitchell made their lunar landing on February 5 in the Fram Moro Formation, originally the target of the aborted Apollo 13 mission. During the two lunar EVAs, 94.35 pounds of moon rocks were collected, and several scientific experiments were performed. Shepard hit two golf balls on the lunar surface with a makeshift club he had brought with him. Shepard and Mitchell spent 33 one-half hours on the moon, with almost nine one-half hours of EVA. In the aftermath of Apollo 13, Several modifications had been made to the service module electrical power system to prevent a repeat of that accident, including a redesign of the oxygen tanks and the addition of a third tank. The launch had been scheduled for October 1, 1970, and was delayed about four months. While Shepard and Mitchell were on the surface, Rusa remained in lunar orbit aboard the command-slash-service module Kitty Hawk, performing scientific experiments and photographing the moon, including the landing site of the future Apollo 16 mission. He took several hundred seeds on the mission, many of which were germinated on return, resulting in the so-called moon trees. Shepard, Rusa, and Mitchell landed in the Pacific Ocean on February 9. Shepard was the oldest U.S. astronaut when he made his trip aboard Apollo 14. He is the only astronaut from Project Mercury to reach the Moon. Another of the original seven, Gordon Cooper, had tentatively been scheduled to command the mission, but according to author Andrew Chaikin, his casual attitude toward training, along with problems with NASA hierarchy, resulted in his removal. The mission was a personal triumph for Shepard, who had battled back from Menier's disease which grounded him from 1964 to 1968. He and his crew were originally scheduled to fly on Apollo 13 but in 1969 NASA officials switched the scheduled crews for Apollo 13 and 14. This was done to allow Shepard more time to train for his flight, as he had been grounded for four years. Support Crew Geocentric Selena-centric Flight Directors Apollo 14 launched during heavy cloud cover and the Saturn V booster quickly disappeared from view. NASA's long-range cameras, based 60 miles south in Vero Beach, had a clear shot of the remainder of the launch. Following the launch, the Launch Control Center at Kennedy Space Center was visited by U.S. Vice President Spiro T. Agnew, Prince Juan Carlos of Spain, and his wife, Princess Sophia At the beginning of the mission, the CSM Kitty Hawk had difficulty achieving capture and docking with the LM Antares. Repeated attempts to dock went on for 1 hour and 42 minutes, until it was suggested that Rusa hold Kitty Hawk against Antares using its thrusters, then the docking probe would be retracted out of the way, hopefully triggering the docking latches. The sixth attempt was successful, and no further docking problems were encountered during the mission. 
After separating from the command module in lunar orbit, the LM Antares also had two serious problems. First, the LM computer began getting an abort signal from a faulty switch. NASA believed that the computer might be getting erroneous readings like this if a tiny ball of solder had shaken loose and was floating between the switch and the contact, closing the circuit. The immediate solution tapping on the panel next to the switch did work briefly, but the circuit soon closed again. If the problem recurred after the descent engine fired, the computer would think the signal was real and would initiate an auto-abort, causing the ascent stage to separate from the descent stage and climb back into orbit. NASA and the software teams at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology scrambled to find a solution, and determined the fix would involve reprogramming the flight software to ignore the false signal. The software modifications were transmitted to the crew via voice communication, and Mitchell manually entered the changes just in time. Mission Parameters A second problem occurred during the powered descent, when the LM landing radar failed to lock automatically onto the moon's surface, depriving the navigation computer of vital information on the vehicle's altitude and vertical descent speed. After the astronauts cycled the landing radar breaker, the unit successfully acquired a signal near 18,000 feet, again just in time. Shepard then manually landed the LM closer to its intended target than any of the other five moon landing missions. Mitchell believed that Shepard would have continued with the landing attempt without the radar, using the LM inertial guidance system and visual cues. A post-flight review of the descent data showed the inertial system alone would have been inadequate, and the astronauts probably would have been forced to abort the landing as they approached the surface. LMCSM Docking Shepard and Mitchell named their landing site Fram Oro Base, and this designation is recognized by the International Astronomical Union. EVAS Shepard's first words, after stepping onto the lunar surface were, and it's been a long way, but we're here. Unlike Neil Armstrong on Apollo 11 and Pete Conrad on Apollo 12, Shepard had already stepped off the LM footpad and was a few yards away before he spoke. Shepard's moonwalking suit was the first to utilize red stripes on the arms and legs and on the top of the lunar EVA sunshade hood, so as to allow easy identification between the commander and LM pilot on the surface. On the Apollo 12 pictures, it had been almost impossible to distinguish between the two crewmen, causing a great deal of confusion. This feature was included on Jim Lovell's Apollo 13 suit. Because no landing was made on that mission, Apollo 14 was the first to make use of it. This feature was used for the remaining Apollo missions, and for the EVAS of space shuttle flights afterwards, and it is still in use today on both the US and Russian spacesuits on the International Space Station. Mission Highlights after landing in the Fram Oro formation the destination for Apollo 13 Shepard and Mitchell took two moonwalks, adding new seismic studies to the by now familiar Apollo lunar surface experiments package, and using the modular equipment transporter, a pull cart for carrying equipment and samples, nicknamed Lunar Rickshaw. Rusa, meanwhile took pictures from on-board command module Kitty Hawk in lunar orbit. The second moonwalk, or EVA, was intended to reach the rim of the 1,000-foot-wide cone crater. The two astronauts were not able to find the rim amid the rolling terrain of the crater slopes. They became physically exhausted from the attempt and with their suit's oxygen supply starting to run low. The effort was called off. Later analysis, using the pictures that they took, determined that they had come within an estimated 65 feet of the crater's rim. 
Images from the Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter show the tracks of the astronauts and the Met come to within 30 m of the rim. Shepard and Mitchell deployed and activated various scientific instruments and experiments and collected almost 100 pounds of lunar samples for return to Earth. Other Apollo 14 achievements included the only use of MET, longest distance traversed by foot on the lunar surface, first use of shortened lunar orbit rendezvous techniques, and the first extensive orbital science period conducted during CSM solo operations. The astronauts also engaged in less serious activities on the Moon. Shepard brought along a six-iron golf club head which he could attach to the handle of a lunar excavation tool, and two golf balls, and took several one-handed swings. He exuberantly exclaimed that the second ball went miles and miles and miles in the low lunar gravity, but later estimated the distance as 200 to 400 yards. Mitchell then threw a lunar scoop handle as if it were a javelin. On the way back to Earth, the crew conducted the first U.S. materials processing experiments in space. Launch and Flight to Lunar Orbit the command module Kitty Hawk splashed down in the South Pacific Ocean on February 9, 1971 at 2105, approximately 760 nautical miles south of American Samoa. After recovery by the ship USS New Orleans, the crew was flown to Pago Pago International Airport in Tafuna for a reception before being flown on a C-141 cargo plane to Honolulu. The Apollo 14 astronauts were the last lunar explorers to be quarantined on their return from the Moon. Lunar Descent Rusa, who worked in forestry in his youth, took several hundred tree seeds on the flight. These were germinated after the return to Earth, and widely distributed around the world as commemorative moon trees. Mass, CSM 29,240 kg, LM 15,264 kg, Perigee, 183.2 km, Apogee, 188.9 km, Orbital Inclination, 31.12 degree, orbital period, 88.18 minutes. The oval insignia shows a gold NASA astronaut pin, given to U.S. astronauts upon completing their first space flight, traveling from the Earth to the Moon. A gold band around the edge includes the mission and astronaut names. The designer was Jean Bewley. The backup crew spoofed the patch with its own version, with revised artwork showing a Wild E. Coyote cartoon character depicted as grey-bearded, pot-bellied, and red-furred, still on the way to the moon, while Roadrunner is already on the moon, holding a U.S. flag and a flag labeled First Team. The flight name is replaced by Beep Beep and the backup crew's names are given. Several of these patches were hidden by the backup crew and found during the flight by the crew in notebooks and storage lockers in both the CSM Kitty Hawk and the LM Antares spacecraft, and one patch was even stored on the Met Lunar Hand Cart. Perry Cellini, 108.2 km, Oppos Ellen, 314.1 km, Orbital Inclination, Degree, Orbital period, 120 min, landing site, 3.64530 degrees south 17.47136 degrees west or, 3 degree 38 feet 43.08 inches s 17 degrees 28 minutes 16.90 w. The Apollo 14 command module Kitty Hawk is on display at the Apollo-Saturn V Center building at the Kennedy Space Center after being on display at the United States Astronaut Hall of Fame near Titusville, Florida, for several years. Lunar Surface Operations
Return, Splashdown, and Quarantine. Mission Insignia Spacecraft Locations The ascent stage of Lunar Module Antares impacted the Moon on February 7, 1971 at 00,45,25.7 UT 3 degrees 25 minutes south 19 degrees 40 minutes west slash 3.42 degrees south 19.67 degrees west slash dash 3.42 19.67. Antares descent stage and the mission's other equipment remain at Fram Moro at 3 degrees 39 minutes south 17 degrees 28 minutes west slash 3.65 degrees south 17.47 degrees west slash dash 3.65, 17.47. Apollo 14 press kit, NASA. Release No. 71-3K, January 21, 1971, Apollo Program Summary Report, NASA, JSC 09423, April 1975, The Apollo Spacecraft, A Chronology NASA, NASA SP 4009, Table 2-42. Apollo 14 Characteristics from NASA Historical Data Book, Volume 3, Programs and Projects 1969-1978 by Linda Newman Ezel, NASA History Series, Masking the Abort Discrete by Paul Feel at the Apollo 14 Lunar Surface Journal. NASA Detailed technical article describing the abort signal problem and its solution. Apollo 14 Technical Air-to-Ground Voice Transcription Man Spacecraft Center, NASA, February 1971, NSSDC Master Catalog at NASA. Photographs taken in 2009 by the Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter were released on July 17, and the Fram Moro equipment was the most visible Apollo hardware at that time owing to particularly good lighting conditions. In 2011, the LRO returned to the landing site at a lower altitude to take higher resolution photographs. Apollo 14 astronaut Ed Mitchell sets foot on the moon. Shepard and Mitchell erect a U.S. flag on the lunar surface. The short film Apollo 14 Mission to Fram Moro is available for free download at the Internet Archive, Apollo 14, Shepard, Rusa, Mitchell. Archived from the original on May 4, 2011. Retrieved July 4, 2011. CS1 maint, bot, original URL status unknown slideshow by Life Magazine. The Apollo Astronauts Interview with the Apollo 14 Astronauts, March 31, 1971, from the Commonwealth Club of California Records at the Hoover Institution Archives, Apollo 14 Lunar Liftoff, Video at Maniac World, Apollo 12 Photographic Sequence of Apollo 14 Landing Site, with Cone Crater. Reprocessed Lunar Orbiter 3 image taken in 1967, used in mission planning. The image is somewhat oblique and facing south at an illumination angle of about 34 degrees from the left. Apollo 16 image showing the Apollo 14 landing site at the green dot near center. The hummocky terrain stretching from the lower left to the upper right is the approximate extent of the Fram Moro formation. Apollo 14 Landing Site, Photograph by LRO Gallery Later photo of landing site taken by LRO This article incorporates public domain material from websites or documents of the National Aeronautics and Space Administration. NASA Reports Bibliography Multimedia